I'm from Leonard for the level 3 in the intermediate item transfer guide. Dive into the today concepts. Today we are just learning the basics of object oriented programming that is OOP. Here we will start with object. We will start starting with one step. In a generic sense, you mm -hmm. can refer to chairs, tables, books, things, or as objects, right? This means everything arranged view would be yeah, called an user. object. In programming, both the living and static things are called objects. Mm -hmm. That's why your chair is an object, your book is an object, mm -hmm. everyone, mm -hmm. your mom, dad, mm -hmm. your grandfather is also an object. So, so what is an object? That everything okay. in this static and living address for the space object to create. Coming for the thing, so object oriented programming is a paradigm concept of object which can contain data and that manipulates the data. Coming to the attributes, every object has a unique attribute. Right. That means there are so many people around you. How do you identify you them? They look like different. Some are taller, some are stronger, some are skinny, some are healthier. They are with skin color, face, name, blah, blah. This means every person has a distinct visible character. We all have distinguishable attributes or properties. These are unique characteristics. This is true for object as well. The shape, color, look, feel of the chair is different than a table. Similarly, a car has the distinguishable characteristics than a house. Every object or mm -hmm. everything in the world has an unique attribute. So then attributes, mm -hmm. most of the objects perform tasks as well. For example, we eat, we walk, we sleep. Like what this means, every object in the universe has a unique attribute. Therefore, tasks. So how would you difference the two objects? They have unique attributes right objects have attributes so and perform the tasks okay so some of classes some you might ask what is class objects are created from the templates called classes which define the properties and behavior of object they create okay have you ever heard the term middle class similar to it? Here, the economic class or business class while buying tickets. Why do you call the classes? Because they have a few similar attributes. Even in the school, everyone in the same class has similar attributes. They study the same subjects, they have the same teacher, and they are in a similar age group. That's why they are called classes. Since a class is a category or a group of people, think that share similar attributes. So while programming, you will create a class, the template, then you will use the class to create the individual objects with similar attributes. What is class? A template to create objects. Classes is a template to create similar objects. Come with the declaring. How to declare the class? For declaring a class, you have to do the three things. Use the keyword class, give a name to the class, do the call and sign. For example, you see the thing as class phone.com. This is the exact way to declare the class. Okay. Mm -hmm. All the phones in the world have a brand name. It's the name of the manufacturer. You can say every phone has the attribute called brand. Attributes are just like the variables. They you declare inside the class. You can give it the initial value. Don't forget to indent everything inside the class. Okay. To create an object from your phone class, you will call the class like the function. I will show you the core example for your parents. Whatever our thing for now. Okay. You see the okay. class phone brands equal to Samsung. Okay. How to get that? 
Honest friend. To see the attribute in the object you created, you can print the attribute by typing the name of the object and then a dot sign, then the name of the attribute. Can you make this? It is simply giving me the output. To see the attribute in the object, you create, you can print the attribute by typing the name of the object, then a dot sign, then the name of the attribute. You will finally give me the output as Sam's. Coming to our window. Like matter. Method. A method is a function that belongs to an object. Okay. Suppose uh, you have your mom might say you're lazy, but you do a lot of things. Like you slept 14 hours. That's why, because laying on the bed is hard. Even your mom can't do it for six hours in a row. Also, you know how to code. You can just declare a function to do some task. For example, to add two numbers, you can declare a function like this okay inside the class you can have a function this will give the ability to see the what in fact every object created from the class will be able to call that function and perform the task those functions create inside the class are called method for simplicity, you can think of them as class function. However, don't tell this to the nearest programmers. Those unsocial Kevin servers might be lost. Okay. So, which keyword do you have to use as a sort of function? D E. Okay. This is the thing you have. Okay. okay. So take function is a class or call method. Coming with how to deploy a method is just very simple. Okay. Coming to the code, this might help you to simplify the thing. You just declare a function inside the class. For example, you have the phone class. Now you are adding the hard work method. Okay. And we have the class phone. We are adding a hard work method. Okay. Now this is just a simple function inside the class. However, you always have to provide one parameter. You may or may not use this parameter. Usually this parameter is called cell. Yeah. To call a method from a class, you will just create an object, write the object name and then a dot and then call the method as you are calling function. Also note that you won't pass the first parameter. Python will do it for you. Don't get confused. Keep going. This will make sense later. I will explain more. While we are running this code, we will often get the output of chat, chat, chat. Because we will insert it, we will call it with this. Coming with our code. Yes. What is as a player understanding with the method? So just slightly seen with parameters. If you want to pass one or more parameters to a method, you will write those parameters after the self parameter. Okay. After bound adding the self parameter, which is already same a self parameter, while we adding more than one parameter, we just simply adding after the parameter. Okay, while calling a method, you will pass all the parameter, including the self parameter. Python will automatically pass the self parameter. Okay, methods are like functions, you can store method output to a variable and use it for other purpose like derivative functions. So on by following this, you can also adjust and modify the parameters like our 
previous class. Now I'm doing like it. Now we want to create a method named with balance. We want to return the upon balance. So I'll show you with the code. So the code segment. See, use the self parameter to access any attributes of a class from inside the method. Just use self and then a dot sign, then the name of that attribute. You can see by just so let's say you have a multiple attributes, you can access every attribute by using a self command dot sign and that the name of the attribute. The self parameter is a special parameter. I, I will talk about the self parameter. It allows you to access all the attributes and method of a class from inside the method. Okay. So click use the self parameter to access the attributes method. If you want to you know the output of this code, let make it. So it is making the self parameters to access the one balance as the thing. So these are all the things we all just come to the end of the session. Thank you for watching. To obtain a course completion certificate, visit our site and finish the rest of the course video. Sign up or sign in, choose your level, watch the video and take the quiz. Finish all the quiz to unlock the final quiz and get your certificate. Happy learning!